so I can't catch bugs, fish, or sea creatures. I have to get rid of bird cages and dog houses. This also means I won't be able to gift any of these items to anyone. I can't dig up fossils to give to blathers because they were once animals and the museum is a prison built for human entertainment. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a fun one where I attempt to play Animal Crossing as a PETA vegan. As most of you know, PETA published an article about being vegan and playing Animal Crossing. The article specifies strict guidelines and rules about adhering to vegan principles while playing the game. Usually being vegan is a choice based on compassion and empathy for animal and environmental rights. There are some vegans who are strictly only about the health benefits of the diet. Then there are the opportunistic vegans who don't really commit to the lifestyle. They see it as more of a trend. Or they have a vegan phases or choose certain days of the week to eat meat-free, and so on and so forth. Peta vegans are the next level of veganism. They are very strict and orthodox. The moral compass is very straight and narrow, and there is no gray area. I realized while playing that since I could not catch any insects with my net, I decided that the net itself was no longer required. Promptly, while shaking trees, I was stung by multiple wasps. I quickly ran out of my inventory of medicine. I was unsure what to do with the wasp's nest, since technically, as a peta vegan, capitalizing from wasp nests or turning them into something for human consumption is a no-no. So I just left them on the ground. I'm pretty certain that if I were to keep playing this game as a peta vegan, I would quickly amass a large collection of wasps' nests. I suppose I could give them away as gifts. I also quickly realized that if I was taking medicine to heal myself from the wasp stings, that since the medicine itself is a remedy made from wasps nests and weeds, it was also not vegan. This would mean that I was not allowed to take the medicine. I would either have to stop shaking trees or remain permanently stung and pass out every single time I got stung. So that's what I did. I also had to leave the seashells on the beach and because seashells well, they're not vegan. I don't think seashells lower the star count of your island, but I'm pretty sure wasps' nests will lower the star count. This would also mean that getting rid of all my shell DIY furniture and mermaid furniture was a necessity as well, since they were not vegan. I quickly realized that I need to get rid of a lot of animal exploiting items on my island. The doghouse had to go, along with the barbecue, fish drying rack, fish and insect models from Flick, my birdcage, hamster cages, butter churn, beehives, my loom, the wool spinner, bamboo lunchbox, and sushi picnic items since I didn't know if they were vegan or not. I also decided to get rid of my fishing pole as well. I guess if I were to play the game permanently as a peta vegan, I would have to give these items away or just never craft them in the first place. I'm going to assume that all the candles in the game are paraffin and not beeswax. When Marina asked me to play the treasure hunting game, I was at a loss as to whether or not I could participate since it would mean I might end up digging up a fossil. I decided to participate anyway and then just leave any dug up fossils. So after playing this way for about 30 minutes, I got quickly bored. I suppose I could go swimming, but since I couldn't catch anything, it'll get quickly aimless and boring. Also, I couldn't talk to Pascal because I couldn't catch any scallops. However, there were still quite a few tasks that are vegan friendly. Number one, you can still terraform. Number two, you can plant flowers. Number three, you can build cute areas on your island like an outdoor farm, a f a, an outdoor cafe, an exercise area, a park, a campsite, and you can put them on the beach or on, on your land. Number four, you can still decorate your interiors and use most of the items in your catalog. Number five, you can go to Harvey's Island and videos and do photo shoots. You can also visit other islands via Dream or Dodo Airlines. You can talk and give gifts to your villagers. You can participate in games with your villagers. You can make custom designs. You can also pop balloons, search for message bottles, participate in fireworks, cherry blossom, bunny, or other special events, except for the Harvest Festival, because that has to do with a lot of meat, eating, and... Uh, Maybe Franklin will be, you know, uh, a question. Well, in the past, Franklin the turkey who came during the Harvest Festival to cook food for you. Uh, they did joke that he might be also the main meal. And there is also turkey and various other meats that are served during this time. And you have pictures of your 
villagers eating meat. So it's definitely not vegan. Number 11, you can DIY most items. Number 12, you can participate in the stock market. However, this may be questionable since technically you are capitalizing on the exploitation of, of turnips and maybe Daisy May. However, there are quite a few tasks that are not vegan friendly. Number one, you cannot catch fish, catch sea creatures or bugs. You gotta leave them alone. Number two, this may mean that you will never be able to upgrade your tent. Like you'll never be out of the tent phase since Tom Nook requires you to bring him creatures to upgrade your housing. So you'll forever be at the tent phase. Number three, you will also be limited to just your starting villagers since Tom Nook requires you to have a house to build more houses for new villagers. But since you can never get out of the tent phase, you'll never reach that point. Number four, you can't dig up fossils and bring them to blathers, therefore your museum can never be complete. You may purchase art from, the, from Red, but the museum will not reach the stage where you can display the art that you get. So this will also mean that any future upgrades to the museum will never reach completion. Example, the Roost, that is Brewster's Cafe, which may come in a future upgrade, and unfortunately your museum will never reach that phase. So you can't participate in making coffee, which is a vegan activity, um, in order to run Brewster's Cafe. But then again, we don't know what kind of milk they use, so I don't know about that either. Number five, you can't make certain DIY items or display them because they are, you know, exploiting animal products and animals themselves. Number six, you can't participate in certain events. Example given, the Harvest Festival, as I outlined before. Number seven, you can plant flowers. However, you cannot pick them or breed them as that is exploiting wildlife. And number eight, you may not be able to collect the DIYs required to make the tools you need to participate in the more vegan tasks. You will have to rely on your non-vegan friends to acquire items to keep playing. Perhaps that's the only way you'll be able to upgrade your tent to the house and so on and so forth. I'm not sure uh, what a peta vegan would do at this point. So yes, there you go. In conclusion, I completely failed at being able to play the game as a peta vegan for more than an hour. I got bored very quickly, I felt severely limited in gameplay, and I questioned every move that I made because I was afraid of doing something wrong. It also became kind of existential, and I began to question even if my villagers counted as animals, since they are bipedal. They do not roar, meow, or bark, or make animal noises at all, and don't seem to mind keeping pets even if they were the same species as they were. I also questioned if they were actually humans dressed up in costume. Was I playing a furry game? Was I okay with that? Was I exploiting furries by playing this game? Were they exploiting me? Let me know in the comments below how you feel about PETA, veganism, and whether or not Animal Crossing villagers are human, animal, or both. For more content like this, please like and subscribe. And be well, be safe, and see you in the next one.